Well, uh, it's been a pleasure for us to have uh, uh, Trevor Mudge from the University of Michigan visiting us here at the Multicore Day uh, this year. So, Trevor, I know that you've been looking a lot into how multicores are being used in, in cell phones. Uh, tell us a little more about that. Yes, a few years back we started to look at the two systems in cell phones, the application multicores and the baseband processors. The interesting thing about the application cores is, as you probably know, the core count's gone up from zero when they were just phones to sophisticated multi-core systems with GPUs, up to eight cores. So we've looked at whether the applications really need that kind of compute power, whether they can be used by the applications effectively. So when the core count is going up, can you see an increase in performance, for example? No, no, not at the moment. It, uh, it seems to be a marketing gimmick. Okay. Um, if you look at the work that we've done, the core count, you could justify three probably. Uh -huh. um, and that's not inherent in the applications. It's more in the state of the software, really. Okay. Uh, which tends to change much, much, much more slowly than the hardware capabilities of putting more cores on a chip. S so what is the problem with the software? I thought, for example, that on the cell phone you have lots of things going on at the same time. You do, know? but they're, they're sort of functionally separate. Okay. So it's easy to separate them. You've got a baseband processor that's doing signal processing, uh -huh. and that could be a completely separate system. Uh, not completely, but a separate system. And then you've got um, image processing, perhaps, to capture images. Uh, that can be separated. So there's functional separation. And then you've got these general purpose cores that are just running the apps that you, like your phone book, or maybe listening to music or things of that nature. These have uh, not really been parallelized enough to use the multiple cores that we're seeing now. Okay, so, so if I buy a cell phone with eight cores, it's not going to buy me much? Not much, no. Okay. Not at the moment. Maybe in the future when software catches up, we can build the hardware, we cannot program it very effectively. Uh -huh. Or at least with the turnaround times that, that um, s new models of cell phones come out, which is like every 18 months or something. Um, so we can put more cores on. The question is what to do with them. Uh -huh. Is this some kind of inherent problem in, in the applications, the I nature of the applications? I don't think so, no. Um, I don't know the, that for, for, for a fact, but I don't think it is. It's more a case that the cost of rewriting all this stuff for multiple cores is okay. quite significant. Okay. So cell phones have been around for a long time. Multicores have been around for a long time. Yeah. How long will it take before we have solved that problem? Well, I don't think we've solved it in a, in a lot of other application spaces, not just cell phones. Now, in the HPC world, the high-performance computing, supercomputing space, yes. They've, but they spend considerable effort writing the code for these you know, monstrous computers, basically. Um, that the, a small outfit that's building an app for a cell phone is just happy to produce some software that's functional without any bugs in it, let uh -huh. alone parallelizing it. So it's a different world, really. That, that it's a case of resources. Okay. So, first of all, do we have to change this? And if so, how can we change it? Is it a matter of education of programmers? Is it a matter of power, more powerful tools? Yeah, I think we're going to have to look to some high level of abstractions that programs can be written in, so it's easier t for e the tools to parallelize them. I don't believe that we're going to be able to produce hundreds of thousands of programmers who can program parallel code. There, there's a lot of opinions on that. Some people think we should start education thinking, how can we do things concurrently rather than sequentially? I'm less optimistic about that. Okay. So uh, looking forward, um, you s still think there will be uh, eight cores in a, in, a, in a cell phone? Probably as long as people buy cell phones based on the number of oh, cores. Okay. The, we'll see a hundred in <laughs> no okay. time. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.